<laughs> Shut up! Alright, well done. The patriotism is so real. <laughs> Back for another edition of Blind Wine Tasting, but this time we've decided to take a step back from wine and we're going to the barley sodas. We're on the beers. And so we're gonna blind taste some an absolute Australian classics of just cheap, easy drinking, delicious pub beers. So without too much mucking around, let's get frothy. And finally we're drinking beers. Uh, all right, I'm so excited. Uh, also, Happy Movember, everyone. That's why I look like this. This one's a cloudy little number. Um, so I'm guessing it's probably a, a pale ale. It smells like one. I mean, for us, this probably looks like orange wine, like an orange pet nan or something like that. But yeah, it's unfiltered. That is, uh, I'm gonna try and guess each one of these. I reckon this is Cooper's pale ale based on the, based on the nose of it. I was under the impression that we were drinking shit tins and this, this I wouldn't regard as shit tin. In fact, if you just served it to me, uh, I'd think it would be a really nice craft beer. Yeah, there's only one real, like, massive brewery in Australia that does unfiltered and, like, uh, no preservative, natty beer, and uh, that's from our great state. Straight, at, <coughs> that's from our great state of South Australia. It doesn't taste uh, substantial enough. Like the thing about pale ales is Cooper's pale ale specifically is you want to drink like five of them, and then the sixth one is like, oh, there's only one left in the six pack. I'd better finish it. But really, that's like the uh, extra dinner that you have after dinner. So yeah, I'm not sure if this qualifies as as a shit tin uh, because I would buy a case of this happily. Not too sure in terms of the alcoholic strength. I'm guessing it's a, a mid-strength, like mid-strength pale ale. Um, to be honest, it reminds me of Cooper's, Cooper's uh, mid. Um, and it's delicious. Uh, I would happily drink this if you gave it to me. <laughs> Number two, we have uh, obviously something crystal clear in brilliant clarity. So it's probably gone through a lagering process. This is like grassy. It's really, it's like, it's like straw and hay. And then it's got this kind of like um, corn. It's pretty corny. The difference between lagers and pale ales or ales are ales when you're hungry and lagers when you're thirsty. Smells like Vegemite. I wonder if that's the thing. I wonder if that's why like Australians drink so much beer. I wonder if I, like a, we're, we're conditioned from like really, really young children to love the smell of Vegemite. You love the smell of yeast. As much as I, I, I love shit tinnies, this is a great category. I'm, I'm all about these beers. I'll probably drink these all pretty regularly, but yeah, this is this is not a good tasting beer. There's a kind of like, almost like sweetness. It's got this kind of residual sugar sweetness, but it's got like no flavor to back it up and it's just got this really unpleasant bitterness as well. I think red tins might be the Chardonnay of shit tins to me, whereas I think everything tastes like a West End just because, I don't know, they're not that different, are they? I mean, we'll find out. I want my, my um, sort of, tasteless beer to be exactly that. And when a tasteless beer strikes me as this, which is actually quite full bodied and, and quite generous, um, it's not really a thing for me. If I was given a can, sick. Um, but as it stands, it's probably a little bit too, little bit too ballsy for it. Oh yeah, this smells, this smells the goods. Uh, straight off the bat. It's like Vegemite light. It's like white nectarine. And almost pineapple-y as well. It's quite, it's almost tropical. Yeah, still that kind of um, raw hay thing as well. That's probably like a, a major common feature, I think, across the whole range of wine, a uh, whole range of beers. Wow, I'm stuck in this wine thing. So there's this thing about super dry when I'm drinking it. It doesn't taste like this, but it always reminds me of the urinals at a football match. Like it doesn't taste like it, but it's just like what pops into my head, the aftertaste of it, because the amount of times that I've, it's half time, I've rushed to the urinals at a footy game. And that's the taste that's sitting in my mouth while I'm standing there. That's actually quite delicious. This is actually really good. It's got this really awesome like summer stone fruit tropical thing that's really quite delightful. It's great. Yeah, yep. Yeah, I would I would um, I would buy a case of this for sure. Uh, absolutely. This is the benchmark of shit beers. Like it is slightly flavorful, extremely refreshing, everything's in balance. Um, I actually rate this quite highly. It's one of those things like, you know, when people get into wine, they're like, I I just know what I like when I see it. That's the level I'm at with beer. Um, I have maybe a little bit of technical knowledge about fermentation, but not really much more beyond that. That just tastes like a really good beer to me. Four. Beer number four. That is water. What is that? That is the least offensive, most 
I've just turned 18. I'm drinking Summer's Bees, but I'm hanging out with my dad's mate, so I need to drink a beer beer that I've had in a little while. That tastes like nothing at all. There is like an orange marmalade thing to it as well, besides just the general beer smells. <laughs> Great. In fact, this is probably my favorite so far. Yeah. Um, mainly because what I'm looking for, what I'm looking for in a really shit tin, no flavor. In fact, the flavors are so well balanced that there is no perception of acidity or sort of yeast or fermentation or aromatics or anything. That doesn't matter. That's not why I'm drinking a shit tin. I'm drinking a shit tin actually to cleanse my palate. Um, this uh, is the most cleansing beer that I've had in this lineup so far. Forex, maybe. Uh, all right, uh, water, no flavor. A lot of companies make like a summer beer. So there's like Forex Bitter and there's Forex Summer. I reckon it could be one of the like summer variants or something like that. Oh, Great Northern. I reckon it's Great Northern. Yeah. Don't find many redeeming qualities about this at all. There's no bitterness at all. Some people would like that. I'm sure there's a market for this. Yeah, there's no bitterness. There's no complexity, but you don't need to have that for this style of beer, but there's just no interesting flavors. It's sour, it's flat, it's just like, nah, I, I hate this. Beer number five. Yeah, it's got a bit more of a hop to it, I guess. Uh, see, I know about as much about beer as I do about wine. I arguably know more about wine now because I've been hanging out with these guys. I've just drunk a lot more beer. It smells like beer, dude. There's a bit of power here. This is, this is interesting, like, Okay, cool, we got florals, we got weight, we got density, we got a lot of different elements here. It's a, quite a complex nose, uh, to be fair. That's really zesty, like super citrusy. Like it's lime zesty, it smells like a really, it almost smells like a craft pale ale. It's actually got really great aroma. This looks like a lager, but drinks like an ale. And for that reason, I'm thinking it could be furfy because their whole thing, I think, Thing. Their old branding was it was like a lager slash ale in between. So I'm thinking this could be furfy. It's like lemony, it's white white stone fruit, um, and yeah, grassy, but not that kind of straw grass. It's really quite green. It's really, it smells, it smells awesome. I buy one can of this. Uh, it's not a bad beer. It's actually kind of nice. It's just really full on. It's like, it's full bodied. And I, I'm, I really like that other one. <laughs> and this one, this one in comparison just looks so much bigger and heavier and weightier. And it just really just kind of knocks you in the, the front teeth. Because yeah, it's a weird sort of like intermediate between, sitting in between number one and two. So you've got the pale ale that's really sort of, uh, as I was saying, chewy and mealy and tasty. And then you've got some of the lagers that are really light, refreshing. And this sort of sits nicely in the middle. Uh, and the last one, uh, it's another one. And by the looks of the head of this, the carbonation of this is terrible. It's got these big, big foamy bubbles. It smells all right. It's again, that kind of really hay, that hay bale, like bretty, bretty kind of thing. I'm not gonna lie, as much as I've been really solid on these, you, it's all pretty similar tasting in a lot of ways. Like. It's, it's almost, it's like a, it's the perfect knockoff beer if you work in the booze industry, because it doesn't have any flavor, you don't have to think about anything. It's like, yeah, cool, that's refreshing. It's got a little bit of alcohol to refresh me. It's got zero flavor that I can really pick up and I don't want to focus on it too much. Um, it's just a crisp, clean, refreshing. It's like the soda water of beer. It is good. I like this. Uh, it's not my favorite beer in the lineup, but it's probably the one I drink the most of uh, after work. Uh, good stuff. Yeah, no, there's something, something, not something wrong about it. It's just not as right as those. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, uh, I don't really have a lot to say about that apart from uh, the fact that I, I just don't think that uh, should have ever, ever been released to public. Uh, <laughs> but I'm sure it has uh, its advocates. Uh, it just doesn't have one in me. Uh, let's see what the other guys think. Yeah, great lineup. Really enjoyed it. Let's do beers more often. I hope you enjoyed watching because I really enjoyed making this one. <laughs> I actually found this tasting so fun. It was the best way to start the day. We should do this regularly. Yeah, bro, it's not like it's like 4 p.m. in here or something. You guys don't know. It's actually like 11 o'clock and it's great. Yeah. yeah. Um, first, first can. Not shit. Definitely not shit. That, that was amazing. Good juice. Well, what is it? Yeah, what is it, Lucky? Four bucks, four bucks, 40 a can. Half 
of a seltzer. Half a seltzer. <laughs> Twice the man. <laughs> the oh, oh, yes! Yes! Oh, yes. Mild ale. Called it. Called it. Mild yeah. ale. Mild yeah. ale. Yeah. Fantastic. Like, what I are, rate this. What are, and this is, I, I believe, one of the, uh, at least in Australia anyway, um, one of the largest. It, it's tech, breweries. like, if you could, one could argue it's the largest craft brewery in the world. Really? Yeah. It's, it, it's, if you're in like a rural pub and you've got <laughs> all of these and you've got like a craft beer snob beard down to here and a very well oiled moustache, He's going to be like, fuck all of those, I'll have one of those yeah. because I have to. I'm taking a huge win on this because I was so set that this was their green pale ale. And then I, I was smelling it, I'm like, ah, oh, it's pale ale for sure. And I taste it, I'm like, hmm, it's a bit light and pale ale, but I'm sticking with it. I've never had one <laughs> of these it's, before. It's pretty amazing. It's just pretty like, good. These are really good. These are, yeah. these are one of my favorite beers to drink. Because Is that it's one like, standard drink? One standard drink. One standard, standard. yeah. So it's a mixed drink, though. Yeah. All right, beer All right. number two. Beer number two. Beer number two. Uh, I ran really far away from this. Yeah, I didn't like it at all. It's got a, it's sweet. It's got a sweetness. It's got it's got corn, I think, in it as well. It has corny vibes. I thought it might have been uh, a red tin. Uh, oh, yeah, I reckon that could be cool. Shout. Not a bad shout. Red mm. tins, yeah, yeah. Lachlan, what is it? Oh, it's I'll do draft. Wow, I saw the red, red tin. tin. I was about to do it. Actually, I only said red tin. So. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on your state. Uh, yeah, I've never been a fan of this beer. Um, I, ever, feel, ever, I, I, ever. I, I don't know. I'm guessing Carlton Draft, obviously um, a Victorian. Uh, yep. C U B yeah, baby. Yeah. Um, yeah. Never, never really sort of grab it. I'm being a you know self-respecting Queenslander, come South Australian. Yeah. And just never a, really. And also, yes. Agree. Yeah. Same, same. Yeah. Same, same, but different. Yeah. Same, same, but different. <laughs> um, look, I, I, yeah, never, never enjoyed this. Uh, out of all of the uh, Melbourne-based like shit tins, this is my least. We're gonna get a bunch of like Melbourne bitter forever. We're gonna get a bunch of hatred. We're gonna get some hate. Oh, dude, I'm into hate it. Hate speech. <laughs> Moving on. Number three. This was. I think this was my. Uh, was this my favorite? No, no, I went a six pack. You know, I thought. I thought. I thought mid strength. I thought pretty good. What, what do we, we got? got? Lucky. Damn. Primo as well. Primo again. Oh, oh my goodness! Dun, what? Dun 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 dun. <laughs> um. Oh my what? goodness. This showed so much better than it ever has! Mm. Generally, generally this is the benchmark for shitness, but it's actually the benchmark of benchmarks. Full it's strength. Like, yeah. Wow. David Boone would be really proud. Um, <laughs> that, that, that has shown very well. I stand corrected. Are you Usually saying VB is improving? I think VB is improved. I mean, it's certainly better than Carlton Draft. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. Miles that, better. That definitely pips uh, Carlton Draft at the, at wow. the race, for sure. Wow. Yeah, I'm, it looks I'm, really good. I'm being convinced. Uh, All right, moving on. Moving right along. Uh, what's, where, where do we live? Oh, oh, yep. This, this is my beloved. This is your beloved. This is my beloved. Bro, what are you talking about? Uh, this right. tastes like country tap water. Oh, yes. And oh, I no, love no, it. it. <laughs> Dude, that has no flavor to it. I know, and that's so great. This was sour. It's sour. Oh, it's sour. It's what happy. Sour is life. I it's mean, got it this sour, like, orange juicy thing to the side of it, and it's got zero mid palate. Um, and it's just like someone's dipped, a, like, dropped a piece of bread in some water. Like, uh, it's, it's all right. Yeah. I reckon that's from Queensland. Uh, what is this, Lockie? Six bucks! It's not Forex Gold. It's a long way from Queensland. It's not mate. Forex Gold. It's a big team. Oh, it's a big Northern. Northern. Uh, Tall boys, baby, let's go. Let's stoop. I Still works. That one too. Still works. Still so this, all right with it. This is the super crisp, uh, low, low bitterness. bitterness. Wow. Uh, one point four standards. Uh, this one point four standards in a five hundred mil. Yeah. Half your luck. Yeah. This rolls in. What is the alcohol percentage? Three and a half. It's got to be, isn't it? Three and isn't half. That right one strength beer is. Oh, there it is. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah that's three it. And a half. Great. Good. This one. We're Absolutely here. beer into of the lineup. Oh, this, I was into it. This was, uh, honestly, I thought this was fucking amazing. I was taken by number, uh, this this little little Great Northern number. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so, therefore, it affected my score on this one. What is it, Lockie? It's 4 x gold. It's a 4 x gold. Oh! oh Yes! Yes! <laughs> Shut up! Get out All of right. here! Alright, well done. The patriotism is so real. Oh, Holy shit, God. how is that so good? That is, that is. That's way better than I remember that. I'm speechless. I'm absolutely speechless. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's. Oh, it's... Oh, what a well-crafted thing. It's like a lager and an ale. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, it's a red tin. It's incredible. Wait, it is made by the same company that makes it. Yeah, it's CUB. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Holy fuck, that's crazy. 
But we have one more to go. Yeah, one more to go. I thought this was your beloved, to be honest. Really? I, I thought this was just like neutral as hell. I was not into this at all. I slammed it. I slammed it. And if it is my beloved, I'm going to be deeply embarrassed. And I've found a new uh, side chick in the in, in Great Northern. That's There's zero flavour to that. Literally none. I wasn't big on the finish. What have we got? What have we got? Careful. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Oh, no. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any issue with this, but man, you've you've spent so much time championing this beer, and then it's literally come and, and they you in the slammed eyes. it on you could camera. Find, you could go to the start of every single wine for the people episode from yeah. last year and see a can of that being pulled out in over a hundred episodes. The, yeah. the, um, in the lifetime of knowing you, my <laughs> consumption of this beer has increased exponentially. <laughs> yeah. um, and this is a great one. And I didn't pick it in a lineup, and I much prefer Great Northern. That's been said, my new beer is Great Northern. If you're watching this at home, I hope you're having a really good day because I know Nora and I are having a fantastic day. <laughs> <back. That's laughs> yeah, 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 literally West End was the best West and 4X was the worst. Yeah, Holy yeah. fuck! has been proven wrong, he slammed it on camera. Oh my god, master Holy of what? <laughs> oh, it's not master of beer, baby. Hey, if we have any Tasmanian brethren or uh, West Australian brethren, can you please send us some like... Uh, emu export. Hey, yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and some Swanee D, some Swanee D. <laughs> look, look, I'm not going to drink beers unless the channel wants us to drink beers. You know, it's hard to get us to do it. Twist our arms, you know? Yeah, unfortunately. If you want to see more, we'll do more. There's no sometimes always of shit tinnies, but uh, on that note, uh, see you next time. See you next Cheers. time. <laughs>